Hi beauty babes, welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to start off by giving you an apology because yesterday I filmed a live on a palette that had come through the post I was so excited about that I had bought. I was so excited about this palette um, that I wanted to do a live to get up there to show you guys how amazing this palette was. And unfortunately I used my phone and my phone is from 2015. It's um, a J5, I think it is, a Samsung J5, and it's from 2015. And I did complain about the quality of the video yesterday. It was very, very milky. You couldn't actually see what I was doing. It was really bad. The lighting was bad was because it was in my kitchen. It was half past four at night. I was trying to rush the um, review through because I knew that my hubby was going to be pulling up on the on the the forecourt at any point and saying at me coming in through the door saying where's my dinner so i was trying to be as quick as i could um so i didn't get to give you give didn't really give this the best opportunity ever to be able to show you how good this palette is it is just absolutely incredible um now i have had one person say that I'm clearly biased towards Georgie because Georgie is a friend. He's a friend of a friend. And even this friend, who he's a friend of, I don't talk to as much as what I talk to most of you people on here. She is a friend because I go into my local superdrug and she works in there. Um, and she's Georgie is a friend of hers. But we don't socialise with each other. We don't talk to each other. Um, I have spoken to him on Instagram a couple of times and he did buy me a Diet Coke from McDonald's after the Revolution Party two years ago um, because I hadn't got any cash on me and I always have a laugh and joke with him now whenever it comes up. It's like, oh, hi Georgie, I still owe you that Diet Coke from Mackie D's. So he's not a friend, um, he's a friend of a friend and I wouldn't ever let that be... I would never be biased over a product, even if it was my best friend. Now, my best friend was going to be bringing out some palettes last year. She didn't in the end. But even if she'd brought palettes out and they were rubbish, I never, ever would tell you guys in a million years that they're good and that you should go and get them, unless I honestly thought that that was the case. Now, this is really good. I swatched this yesterday. i done swatch pictures on it yesterday. And... I'm just blown away by the pigment of these these shades. They are just incredible. They are incredible. I'll give you the dirty details. Um, she is cruelty free. She's got 12 month shelf life on. Um, it's recycled packaging, and I understand recyclable packaging. This is Georgie Cosmetics, no tea, no shade. Sorry, no tea, all shade. And this is his launch palette um, that he launched this week. I went in on the first day that this came out, used my 10% discount code and actually paid money for this. I haven't been given this. This is all 100% genuine because one thing I don't believe in is people sucking up for PR or anything like that. And you can talk to anybody who knows me personally. That is not me. That is not me at all. Now, another thing I will say is that the colours that I used yesterday were shocking because I put brown, green and yellow together and yes, what was I doing? That was a faux pas, that was a really bad faux pas, I should never have done it because I panicked because I was live, I didn't know what I was doing, I was excited, I knew I'd only got like 15 minutes and I just went for colours that I just could see. I was a plank. So anyway, today I'm giving you a proper, proper review on this. We'll do a close-up and I shall also do swatches for you so you can have a look, okay?
silver. Pop her there, silvery white. Pink. As you can see. Purple. Now this like aubergine colour here, this auburn aubergine colour, which is like a muted black. It's like a purpley, purpley black. I mean, look at that. How beautiful is that? Then we have the that blue. which is still on my finger look then we have that minty green well it's not even mint green it's a bright green isn't it like so then we have this almighty most beautiful green shimmer which I have ever seen it is just a beautiful um, let's do that mm. I'm running out of space now. Let's do that here. Like so. I mean, that can carry on, but. Yep. And then we have this burnt orangey brown. Which is beautiful. Then we have the yellow, which is not a bright yellow. It's not a bright yellow, it's a more of a muted yellow. It's not a neon y colour yellow at all, but that's what she looks like. So as you can see, she's not bright. She's there, but she's not like rainbow bright. Then we have this this coppery brown which again oh my gosh look at that just look at that which is beautiful if you're wondering why I'm doing my swatches shorter it's because I just find them easier to do because I always find like if you pull them down here they become elongated and they don't look nice um, then we have this matte version of what I've just put on so as you can see it's a matte version of it like so and then finally we have this sort of like this colour shook which I am shook over it's like a sort of a champagne-y colour it's, it is beautiful absolutely beautiful so she's not far off being a brown. So these are the colours. Now as you can see, they swatch beautifully. They are gorgeous, they are pigmented, they swatch beautifully. They're lovely. They are lovely. So I think that they are just fantastic I just think you know for someone's first palette I think this is absolutely fantastic they are not bad swatches at all they're not powdery they are beautiful absolutely beautiful so I'm gonna go and wash these off rinse these off because I don't want them all over my arms while I'm filming because I was gonna end up with it all over my bed and I'm gonna look like a mess Right, okay, so let's bring you in so you can see what I'm doing. Now, I'll put some primer on, which is something I hadn't got yesterday. Well, I had primer on yesterday, but bear in mind I filmed at half past four, was it, yesterday? And I'd put my primer on at, like, half past nine in the morning, so it wasn't going to work. Um, so, yeah, okay. So, now, I started off yesterday with this yellow. I'm going to start off again with this yellow see how we get on so I'm just gonna go in this side I'm just gonna pack that 
Oh, and, and look, you can see when my primer is folded up a little bit. Do you know, I never like this brush. I don't know why I use that brush. I never like that brush. Okay, so let's just... No. Come on. I don't think the brush is working today. Where's your gone? Where's that brush I was using? There we go. Okay. So I'm just popping that yellow on. There's a little bit of, there is a little bit of kickback up in the pan when you use it. Not a huge amount, but there is a bit of kick kickback. Okay, so can you guys see how just blend that at the top? Smooth that a little bit. Like so. Then I'm gonna use this pink colour here, um, which is fetch. And it is fetch. You can't see it on my brush hardly because the colour of my brush. Whoa, look at that. I'm not going to recreate what I did yesterday because the look was so hideous yesterday that I'd done. Honestly, I was a bit rabbit in the headlights yesterday. So there's the... And I'm blending that in with that yellow as well. Just gently padding that into that mixes. Hello, Winnie. I'm going to pop a little bit more yellow. Because you can still see the yellow. But that is just blended. Effort, 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 effort. effort, effort. Effortly, effort, effortlessly, effortless. Can't even get a word out today. Effortlessly, so that I've created an orange colour, which looks really nice. Like so. And I'm just going to put some yellow in over the top here. Perfect. So I'm blending this out at the top. Can you see how bright that is? I'm just going to pop some more pink on my lid just so that you can see the difference of where it's mixed in beautifully with the yellow. Fluffy brush is never really a good idea, is it? Okay, so okay, so as you can see, I applied the yellow here, then brought in the pink and turned it to your orange, and then I have the pink underneath. So as you can see, it really has blended so beautifully with the colour underneath. It's just gorgeous. Now, why I used brown and green yesterday and yellow together, I don't know. But that is 
look at that look at that look how beautifully pigmented that is there is a bit of kick about underneath i've got some fallout there is some fallout there so if you don't like a palette that has fallout you're probably not going to like this just try to sweep that away i'm going to put that underneath my eye like so so this is the problem that I had yesterday, was actually trying to do the colours together because there's so many bold colours in here, it's difficult to separate them and to do a look where they're going to blend together. Um, I'm going to go in with this white actually in the inner corner this sparkly white. Let's have a look and see what happens here. That is pretty. I'm going to go in with this purple matte underneath my eye to line that. Wow, just wow. So let's just woo. Let's just blend that up. So that's seamless. And I'm gonna go back in with some yellow on the top again. Do you know what? The pink is so strong that it's instantly turned the yellow to orange. So, yeah, there is a bit of fallout, which, you know, the pigment is so good, I'm not surprised. It's just, I, I am so, so in love with the with the colour payoff and the quality of this. It's just unbelievable. It's really, really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And now I'm not gonna put a shimmer on to ruin that look because there isn't a shimmer that will go with those colours. That's the only thing. But what I am gonna do now, I'm gonna go in on the other side and I'm gonna do a neutral look. So I'm gonna go back in with that brown that I used yesterday so I'm just going to pop that all over my lid. So this is for you beauty babes out there that like a nice neutral colour. No, I'm not going to put green on it because what's green going to do? Green's going to just blend into it and make a mess. That was really daft of me to use that yesterday. Look, that really packs a punch, that brown. Really packs a punch. Um... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in 
I'm going to come in with that faded, which is this colour here. I don't know how this is going to look, but I'm going to go in anyway and see how, how it goes on. Ooh, look at that. Whoa. Now, I would say that the league of these pigments is up there with Javai's Place. Definitely up there with Javai's Place. Without a shadow of a doubt. It is, aha, shadow of a doubt. See what I did there. It is absolutely, I'm just absolutely amazed at how beautiful these shimmers are. And how beautiful these mattes are. They are just incredible. So I'm going to go in now with this brown, which is what I used yesterday. Just, oh my gosh, look at that guys, look at that. I tell you. I just wish you'd have seen this yesterday in the video. But obviously the camera quality was so bad on my phone, there is no way you would have seen this. Just incredible. I think that is amazing. So I'm just going to go in and do the same colour as I done yesterday for the inner corner. So this shook here. God, you can see how much I've used this palette already and I only got it yesterday. Okay, so zoom in. So you can see. Look at this. Look at this. Now bear in mind this is a brown colour. It's not a highlight colour. This was the highlight colour. This is that faded brown. Which it looks like in the camera. It looks like a highlight colour. And it actually isn't. Let me just show you. See even it uh, looks, does look like, looks like a highlight colour in the camera doesn't it? It's not. It's that... It's that sort of, it's a brown, but because the light is reflecting off of it on the camera, it makes it look like, it's like a really bright champagne colour, and it isn't. But look at this. Just look at this. That is incredible. And it blends out so nicely. It's just effortless, effort, 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 effort. <laughs> Haven't got to put any effort into it. That is just beautiful. I am so, so pleased with this palette. So proud of Georgie for doing this. So he probably won't even see this video. But if you are watching it, Georgie, good on you, mate. Good on you. So yeah, a really neutral look that side. Pop of colour this side. Yeah, loving it. And what I'm going to do is to show what I've done yesterday. I'm going to go underneath with that bluey shimmer.
like so. So there you go, two completely different eye looks. Completely different. And what I'm going to do, I'm now going to take a picture with my camera on my phone so you can see how bad a quality my phone camera is. It used to be really good. It's good from the back, but the front lens is just really bad. Okay, right, so... I'm just going to show you what this looks like in the camera. Okay, so you can see what this looks like, yeah? This is what it looks like in my camera. I'm That's scary. <laughs> okay, so this is what that looks like in my camera as a photo. Look how milky that is. Can you see how milky that picture is? really bad but you can obviously see how good this looks in the flesh I haven't blended this out particularly well but yeah there you go so this palette is 19.99 Yes, I do recommend this palette. Yes, I think it's worth every penny. I think it's amazing. Um, it is cruelty free. Um, you can buy this direct off georgiecosmetics.com. Um, the colours that you've got in here, so you've got you've got snatched, fetch, bad bitch, faded, um, Malibu, confident. Shaley, Sis, Manifest, Mum, Unbothered and Shook. So I'm just trying to struggle to get my eyes round on stalks to see. It is it is a very, very pretty palette. It is very, very pretty. Um, like I say, the only downfall I've got is actually coming up with eye looks from it because the colours are all so bold. But I've got my sunset colour without the sunset. <laughs> without my gold which I really like this colour I think this is really nice so I like both sides that I've done this is really nice for a neutral colour neutral look so you can really see that aubergine colour in that corner so yeah I'm, I haven't even got my mascara on or eyeliner but that's obviously because I'm going to go and take some of this off because I'm not going to wear this all day because I can't go around looking with two different eye looks. This is purely for the for the camera. So, yeah, I recommend it. It's good. It's got a little bit of kickback, a little bit of fallout, but you're going to get that with palettes that have got such high pigment in. Um, I think it's great. It's nice to support someone who's local. It's nice to know that this was designed in the UK yes it was made in the People's Republic of China but most cosmetics 99% of the cosmetics that we wear on a general basis are um, yeah so no tea all shade so yeah I highly recommend it guys um, there is no discount code for me I'm not an affiliate in any way yes I bought it with my own money so as I said Georgie is a friend of a friend um, I speak to him once in a blue moon, perhaps I might message him on Instagram, perhaps once a year. He's, you know, I've got no, I've got no tie to Georgie as a brand whatsoever. So what I'm giving you is my honest opinion. And in my honest opinion, I think this palette is gorgeous. Um, and I think it's a lot better than any of the drugstore stuff that I've tried. So there you go. That's me. And that is me 100%. No lies, because I wouldn't lie to you, I wouldn't say to you something's good if it isn't. Um, that is my word. And yeah, so anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Take care for now. See you later. Bye bye guys.